we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Fifty years ago, over 250,000 people came together in the name of equality. The historic March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom is considered to be the turning point in the civil rights movement. I had the opportunity to speak with a UF professor who was an activist during that time. We had a chance to talk about the civil rights era, the original March on Washington, and what it's been like to watch the world change over the last 50 years. Uh, it was bad really everywhere for black people. In the Midwest, the Northeast, the West Coast, we were discriminated against. But the South was really horrible. I mean, I was in Mississippi uh, for the Mississippi Summer Project of 1964, and Mississippi was the worst of all the places. And I was there for two years, and I witnessed horrible things, you know, burning of buildings, crosses, shooting in houses, people being beaten. I had every intention of going, and my church was going, there were NAACP buses, and my grandmother said, you are not going because she believed all the hype that was being projected, that it was gonna be a violent uh, confrontation, blood would be running in the streets. This is what the media was projecting. I was standing waiting for a taxi and a white cab driver pulled up, said, taxi? Well, I knew I wasn't getting in a taxi with a white driver because that just didn't happen when I left there. So I let two or three taxis pass before a taxi being driven by a black man drove up. And I got in and I said, why are these white? I said, where are they going to take me? And he said, oh, no, they're integrated now. And I said, you're kidding. He said, no, where you been, you know? I said, I haven't been to Mississippi for 10 years, you know? It was, I knew then that we were on our way. If Mississippi had cracked, every place was going to crack. <laughs> we gathered around the reflection pool, and I just could imagine how it was, you know, 50 years ago. We still have a long way to go. You know, Trayvon Martin reminds us of that, and I'm so glad that people realize how important what happened to him and how it was a symbol of the unfinished work of the human rights movement because we're talking human rights, economic rights. 50 years have come and gone since that historic day and only time will tell where we'll be in 50 more. Reporting for Zion Buzz, Rochelle Aline.